All right, so recently ISAC has made a video responding to the allegations. Well, I wouldn't say video, Instagram story, more like. He's made a response, basically. So in this video, I'll be going over his response. Uh, I originally planned uh, my final video on ABM when they quit YouTube. Uh, didn't think I'd make another video, you know, besides that. But yeah, let's just get into the response. I know you few trusted friends already saw that video already about us. Well then, that doesn't scare me, honestly. Shut up. We all know you're fucking shitting your pants right now. Stop lying. But one thing, for Lanity, I'm always nice and kind and caring. A reality version. And especially, I never, ever, my entire life in reality, never touch no underage. Yeah, nobody accused you of touching underage girls. That was Angie. Angie is the one who actually had sex with a minor. No one accused you of that, Isaac. But what we did accuse you of, and what the victims accused you of, is having underage nudes, you know, from Anime Girl Me, and trying to date an 11 year old online while you were in your mid 20s. And yeah, Angie trying to back you up. Uh, he fucking failed, man. All right, so chill, fuck off. Will you excuse me? I'm going to run. Preparing six hours marathon. You really tried to make a badass exit, and it was so obvious, too. It's so obvious that he was trying to make it look like he was standing up for myself. Like, oh, look at me. I'm a badass. Like me just walking out while I'm drinking. I'm about to run a six-hour marathon. Shut up, bro. You're not standing up for yourself. The victims stood up for themselves in the fucking Google Doc. Fuck you. You're not a victim. You're a fucking pedophile, bro. All right. There are two or three people who don't know how to shut the hell up themselves. Fuck you. And let me tell you something. I know you guys are keep saying like, why can't you tell behind the truth in the video? I'm not posting internet public, and especially I'm not hiding. Yes, you are. Fuck you. In reality, I never ever touch any underage girl in my life. Again, no one said you did. They accused you of having underage nude photos from Anime Girl Me, and they also accused you of trying to date an 11 year old and trying to, and you know, grooming minors. That's what they accused you of. They never accused you of meeting up with a minor. That was Angie. And hey, let me tell you something. I still remember a long time ago in 2004. Do this. Let me show you this. This is my childhood children's hospital. And one guy who's the best professional taking kids, you know what he do? He touch inappropriate little girls. Three or four of them. I was so shocked when I saw the news, I was like, I know this guy. And guess what happened? He arrested. That reality feeling is more inappropriate, scary thing. Internet, me, I'm not a monster. I'm a nice guy. So keep that in mind, you three people haters. And for the last time, social media sucks. I love how he just blames the media because he, he got exposed by all these victims that came forward on the Google Doc. Like, yeah, social media sucks to a certain extent. Like, when people are sending death threats or being, you know, a dick for no reason. Or, in your case, grooming minors online. So, yeah, you know, social media does suck because if it weren't for social media, you wouldn't have found any minors online to groom. You would have just been probably an innocent person who wasn't preying on kids online. So, uh... Yeah, I guess I guess in that logic, social media does suck. So fuck off. In reality, feeling, I'm always be active outside living. That's a good feeling, and I'm not a monster. And I never ever touch any underage girl in my life. Oh my God, fuck off! No one accused you of touching an underage girl, all right? That was Angie. That was Angie. Angie literally fucked a minor multiple times, probably. Anyways, uh, no. No one accused you of that, so stop fucking saying that, man. All right? What, what people accused you of, I'm gonna say it again, was obtaining underage nudes and, uh, yeah, I'm trying to date an 11-year-old. 
Apparently, you know, trying to date minors, you asked for a minor's face, apparently. You got nudes from a 14-year-old, and you tried to date an 11-year-old, alright? It's as simple as that. And apparently it got so bad to the point where the police showed up at your door. But, you know, your fucking mom convinced that they were they were looking for the wrong person. Or that that you weren't Isaac. Like, jeez, man, your parents are covering for you, bro. That's fucked up. Like, honestly, I blame the parents. Because at first, they probably, the brothers didn't, probably didn't even know that this was illegal and wrong. Because they probably have, like, the, they have a mind of a child. And... Instead of the parents saying, like, no, you should date someone your own age, they cover for them, and they allow the relationships to happen. This is what happened with Angel and Victim B. It's it's very fucked up. Uh, I think the parents should be held more accountable than... Well, not, not more than the brothers, but they should be at least held as much accountable because they're allowing this to happen, along with the sister. But, yeah, that's basically going to be the response. The rest of it is him saying that... Uh, you know, I, I, I pray to God, and, you know, I'm, I, I am not a monster, and, like, shit like that, and, like, haters never learn. It's like, you never learned, and just stop being a fucking pedophile and take responsibility for your fucking actions. You refuse to see that it's wrong, but clearly you do know that it's wrong because you asked a fucking minor to delete your conversation, and guess what? Since he was a minor, she fucking did that, so fuck off.